Form and content are completely linked. Sculpture, if it is anything, is the spatial relationship of the human body to its surroundings. The act of inhabiting space is itself a form of communication with the environment one is in. It's not possible for me to separate one from the other. Of course, life is our first-hand experience. Art is a reproduction of life, an imitation, a parallel universe, and often it's one which can be a little confused and hard to interpret. Because we are looking at the world through someone else's eyes, but when it's working, there is the chance of understanding. The conscious mind works in a binary way, but the deeper undercurrent is much more akin to surrealism, a waking dream of unsolicited connections. In our need for stability, we are programmed to search for a logical framework to place onto a world which is both externally and internally much more mercurial in nature. There are patterns which repeat. And these are the axioms that in themselves bring some kind of comfort, but essentially, Life is pure in its creativity. Art is a stage reproduction. All that has been said about art and all that can be said and debated into the future does nothing to change the very fact that it is a mirror, a collective mirror we choose to look into, to understand not just ourselves but also the other. I believe that one must not just create with an informed intuition but look in the same way. It is not a passive act, and art thrives as much from the intelligence of its audience as from those who create it. The same is true of a nation. It is not possible to define what art is, but if we could, then I am certain that art itself would rapidly lose any profound interest for humanity and function merely as decoration. There would then be a void of meaning which we would need to fill, with something that we might as well call art. The very essence of art is held not in its object value, or even its historical value, but in its transcendental ability to communicate the unspoken hopes and fears lodged deep within us, and to change its meaning even within the lifespan of an individual. Art is certainly a form of exorcism, a trace of both wonderful and conflicting human output, stepping stones to access and confirm our humanity, gathering dust and meaning in the form of objects, indispensable relics treasured through generations of mankind for their ability to expunge us of the dark, to draw us closer together around the first fire. An artwork is not just the key to open a door to ourselves, to our emotions, it is also the arena to communicate them, and in this respect I am not talking exclusively about painting or sculpture, but all art forms from all eras. These days it's possible to expand the notion of an artwork beyond the ready-made. The true objective of art, of my art, is to pose questions beyond the constraints of academia, to pose questions that are born of both space in the physical production of the object and time in the poetical combination of individual and collective thought encompassed within. Externally attached to the object, in no particular order, guided by an intuition of great importance, formed by moments of hard-earned revelation that is bound to the gesture, yet free to walk away from it. All that has been said about art, and all that can be said and debated into the future, does nothing to change the very fact that it is a mirror, a collective mirror that we choose to look into to understand not just ourselves, but also the other. I believe that one must not just create with an informed intuition, but look in the same way. It is not a passive act, and art thrives as much from the intelligence of its audience as those who create it. Hence the contemporary malaise in which flashy art plays to an insatiable public in an arena fulfilled as much by its own status as those that it idolizes. But this in itself is also nothing new. I don't really have a position about the form of an artwork at all, but I do believe that the form that it takes needs to be determined by the kind of dialogue it should entertain, and not merely individual aesthetics or styles. My personal relationship to art is complicated by my very desire to produce it. As an artist, the cart can sometimes lead the horse, but the manual and the physical processes are a necessary conduit to the place in which the need takes shape as object, 
and externalizes even its creator. In this way, I would say that my hope is to produce a body of work which is born out of absence. Life itself is a search for love, empathy, belief, and the daily chance to reach out to one another. Joseph Boyce famously said that everything is art when it is done with love, and even if he didn't say it exactly that way, then I would. Art is a gift, not a sacred cow. No matter how fucked up it may appear from the outside, my work stems from a desire to elevate our humanity, to bring the underdog into the spotlight, to remind myself of the naive dreams that are so easily forgotten. It's only possible to lose in love if you are playing to win.